what's buzzing this morning. Over the weekend, part of the Wilton Mall turned into a cat lover's paradise, all in an effort to raise money for animal charities. Take a look at this. The Cat Cafe, it allowed people to sit and meet with these cats while enjoying some drinks, food, and games there. It was all organized by Homes for Orphan Pets Exist, also known as HOPE. Volunteers say it's a great way to help the animals find those forever homes. I think events like this can help people get to know the cats before they adopt them so they can, you know, already form a bond and like know what type of cats they get along with best. Some good news though, if you did miss this event, they're hoping to host a similar one sometime in the future. We'll of course keep you updated. And the Powerball jackpot is on the rise once again. No winners were announced yesterday. So the jackpot estimated at $613 million, cash value at $329 million. This is the ninth largest in the game's history. One ticket in Texas did match five numbers in the power play for $2 million, while three tickets earned $1 million. The last jackpot winner came in November 19th in Kansas for $92.9 million. The next drawing will be tomorrow night. Good luck, everyone. And the popular Movie Pass app, a subscription service for film lovers, staging a big comeback with some changes, though. So this service is returning with its hallmark all-you-can-watch plan, but this time it has a tiered payment structure. The new version, it uses a credit-based system with plans varying based on where you live. In New York, plans start at $20, which translates to about two to three films per month. The most expensive plan would allow for one movie per day. You will have to shell out 60 bucks a month, though. This is really the year, I think, where things get much more back to normal. And even though streaming is available at home, we have so many options for entertainment. Going to the movie theater, there's nothing like it. The current movie pass, by the way, is still working on a relaunch. There is a beta version already available to customers. And Paramount announcing they will be merging with Paramount Plus and Showtime. The streaming service and cable channel will now be rebranded as Paramount Plus with Showtime. Executives say the combination of all of Paramount's content is ideal for their customers. This does come at a time when comp competition between those streaming services is very high. Executives say the integration of these two platforms will most likely lead to layoffs.